So my name is Tracy Remelius. I'm an outdoor guide, a yoga teacher, and a health coach. And today I want to talk to you all about adventure and that I believe that adventure is good for your health. So hopefully you'll be inspired to be more adventurous after this. Um, when I started my own personal health journey, I didn't feel so great in my body. I um, used to feel really stressed out, sometimes bloated, overweight, kind of dull in my energy. And over a series of adventurous changes in my own life, career changes, different things, I believe that adventure has saved my life and made it much better. Um, so the purpose of life is to live it, to taste it, to experience the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and richer experience. It's from Eleanor Roosevelt, her powerful words. Um, I really believe in the power of words, so I like to look at their meanings. Adventure is an exciting or a very unusual experience. Participation in exciting undertakings or enterprises, a bold and usually risky undertaking. So some more powerful words there, bold and risky, exciting, unusual. Um, the opposite of adventure, some words from the, the thesaurus are avoidance, inaction, inactivity, inertia, and passiveness. So you can start to think about how those could affect your health, especially uh, looking at inactivity and sedentary lifestyle. So uh, sedentary lifestyles cause more deaths than smoking. The prevalence is higher, and um, global deaths per year exceed, are at 5.3 million for sedentary lifestyle. And that was from 2012. So I want you to kind of think about how these words feel when you hear them and check in with you, your body. Dull, bored, uninspired, in a rut, sluggish or tedious. Those were also antonyms for adventure. Check in with those. How did those relate to your life? Um, where are you at with those? And then uh, other synonyms for adventure, active, bright, luminous, charged, vivacious, clear. How do those feel to you in your body and how do you check in with those right now in your life? So just think about that and feel that. I believe that without adventure we live small. When we live small we miss out. Missing out gets boring. We start to crave excitement. Our self-care can go out the window. Our stress builds up. Weight gain and other health issues become our problem instead of a dull life. So instead live an adventurous life. Adventure can be different things to different people. So, um, you know, we, we see all these great movies of huge expeditions and things, but it really, we don't have to do a big expedition or a wild thing for it to be adventurous. For some of us, adventure could just be taking a hike. Um, for some of us, it's a really big hike, like hiking the Appalachian Trail or a winter camping experience, maybe that makes you feel adventurous, or trying a new sport like paddle boarding. But I want you to start to think about that adventure can be much smaller than that. There's a movement um, that's called Micro Adventures by Alistair Humphreys, he has this great website, and he says adventure is everywhere, every day, and is us, up to us to seek it out. Adventure is only a state of mind, and a microventure can be something close to home, cheap, simple, short, and yet very effective. So you can start to think about what microadventures you might have. It could be trying new foods. For me, a risky and unusual undertaking might be going to a Zumba class, totally scares me, <laughs> or speaking at a Pecha Kucha event, risky <laughs> undertaking, <laughs> first time here, I've never been to one. <laughs> So start to think about smaller adventures in your life. And, and the question really is, what makes you feel adventurous? And start to, start to brainstorm what makes you feel adventurous so that you can start to add more adventure to your life, either on a big scale or on a small scale. When you're feeling those feelings, active, bright, charged, and excited, you'll eat better, you'll laugh more, you'll want to be active, you'll want to take good care of your body. Change isn't always here, that's always easy, that's why it's good to get help, and I'm here to help as a health coach. 
<laughs> um, living adventurously is way better than going on a diet. When we start to get bored in our lives, we sometimes turn to food or other unhealthy forms of entertainment. So believe, having an adventure is much better than restricting your diet. And so I put the charge out to everyone here to let's be adventurous. Let's bring more adventure into our lives. When we're more charged and lit up and feeling excited about life, we bring more to our families, our communities, the people around us. So let's be adventurers. Um, as a health coach, I work with busy professionals who've lost their sense of adventure and it's affecting their health. So I'm happy to be here and be your guide to creating an adventure in healthy living. If you're looking for some adventure this coming weekend, I'm leading a yoga adventure. Um, most of the pictures from this slide presentation were all from yoga adventures that I lead throughout the Berkshires. And this Sunday, I'm doing a snowshoe and yoga event at Ashantelli Gardens in Tiringham. Um, and there's lots of snow there, by the way, right now, <laughs> if you like the snowshoe. So thank you very much. Um, this is another picture from Ashton Tully. I do outdoor yoga classes there. And um, you can find more inspiration for adventure on my website at tracyremelius.com. So thank you. <laughs>